Welcome to another edition of the Trick Lessons Podcast, made for tricks, by a trick. This is your host, the number one trick on the internet, Sir Tricks a lot. Make sure you like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Today's episode is another highly in demand topic from the Trick Squad, especially black males. I'm black and I've experienced this phenomenon while tricking. In this episode, we're going to go over five real reasons providers say no black men slash no AA allowed. To my non-black tricks, this topic isn't to point out a particular race is bad. All races of providers are guilty of this practice. We are all brothers in a tricking game and we're using this episode to help black males understand why they're being rejected as well as help all men better understand female nature. Number five, it's a shit test. In the dating field, almost all women have a tendency of asking men questions that are designed to test his frame. Shit tests can happen in the courting process or even 20 years into marriage. It's all a part of female nature and tricking is no different. What we have to understand about tests is women are trying to see if male's masculine frame is strong enough. She sees herself as being vulnerable and don't want to be led by a man who's vulnerable as well. But there's just one problem with a provider's shit testing. They're supposed to be running a business to make money, not challenging the frames of men. One would think as long as a man has the money, then he should be able to get services. But these are women we're talking about and nothing they do is ever based on practical logic and reasoning. But unlike shit tests in a regular dating scene, the no black men allowed shit test can be passed easily. I'll save that topic for another video, but just remember this. Sometimes no black men allowed is more about giving her reassurance than it is about avoiding black men. It's unfair that no other race of men are subjected to the race questions. And as someone who's faced no AA several times, trust me, Experience is the best teacher, and with time, you guys will learn your own ways of getting around this tactic. Number four, first rights of refusal. This one only seems to apply to the Shaniqua providers that refuse blackmail tricks. Eman67 talked about this one, and I agree with his analysis. At first glance, this makes no sense that Shaniquas will reject their own race. But black male tricks have got to understand the psychology of the Shaniqua in the modern dating market. Outside of providing, the Shaniquas know they are the least desired and their only dating option is black males. And that's still not guaranteed because they have to compete with Becky, Maria, and Mulan. The Shaniquas resent black men for having options in the open mating market. And this resent carries over when they're providing services. Shaniquas have given me multiple excuses why they don't see black male tricks. But in reality, it's to be vindictive for what they perceive as a slight in the open mating market. They see Brads and Chads paying them 80 roses for a pump and dump as acceptance in the open mating market. They want to use that newfound confidence as a way to establish their ability to let black male tricks know that they have the ability to reject them due to their false sense of having options. Number three, females are followers. If you go on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or any other social media website, you're going to see a plethora of women following similar trends such as yoga pants, sharp nails, and twerking. They never seem to have a rhyme or reason why they are doing what they're doing except other women are doing it. One would think the real reason for no black men allowed is supposed to be some sort of perceived danger of black men. But I've met with providers who use the NBA meme and they have told me they have never seen a black man before as a provider except for me. When I asked them why do they use the meme when they have never seen a black man before, they would literally say because I've seen other girls do it. It's a microcosm of Western female groupthink culture. Number two, females have low morality. Men and women have different standards of what's morally right and wrong. And studies using Kohlberg's theory of moral development have proved this. 
Kohlberg's theory has six stages, and studies have shown that women are usually unable to go past stage three. Stage three is associated with school-aged children, and morality is based on approval and relations with others. You see, racism is morally wrong, and most adult men and some females know this. But women are children that only virtue signal against racism because everyone else is doing it and they want to get along. However, when they are in an environment where the moral standard against racism doesn't apply, they adjust to their environment and implement racism into their strategy. In recent times, the trick community and some providers have called out no black men allowed providers for their blatant discrimination. But until they are punished financially, there will still be females that continue to be no black men allowed. And number one, they're a poor judge of character and they blame it on black men. In this video, we've established that females in general are not rational people. This goes for their dating life as well. Most modern Western women aren't looking for men who have character, can lead, provide, and raise a family. Instead, feminism has enabled women to date and ride the carousel of the worst men that society has to offer. So what does this have to do with providers saying no black men allowed? Well, these providers apply their horrible dating standards to their vetting process for customers. As a result, providers end up seeing didn't do nothing thugs. We have to understand that most providers that date black men mess with thuggish Pookie and Ray Rays. They never stop to think maybe it's a bad idea to mix dating standards with trick standards. They see these brutish men as providers. They think it's okay to have them as a customer. And then they are surprised when they get gorilla pimped. Their bad experiences providing services to thugs shouldn't be an indictment on good black men, but rather an indictment on their inability to identify quality black men both in their dating and providing life. For now, that's going to wrap up the Trick Lessons podcast. This has been the number one trick on the internet, so tricks a lot. Trick Lessons podcast is made for tricks by tricks. Make sure you subscribe to me on blackavenger.tv. Follow me on gab.ai and remember, if you ain't paying, you ain't trying.